taking a bit of a rest day today or I don't know if you want to call it a rest day more like a wrenching day and we're going to go pick up the 9R Well, that was quick. I think that was about 10 minutes from when we walked in the door to pulling out of the parking lot. Now, back to town we go and start the sled build. Not much of a build, just like the do. Uh, monster parts, backwoods bumpers, deviant ink wrap. And I think that's about it. Should just take a few hours. It's finally here, our 2023 Polaris Pro RMK 9R155. This year we went with the Pro over the Chaos just to try it out. Last year we had the Chaos and the Pro is gonna be a lot more planted on the snow. Totally different ride than what our Turbo Skidoo is. They're not really a comparable ride, but uh, it should be fun. It's gonna be a weapon in the trees and that's kind of what I was going for. Break in responsibility. Yeah, no, I think we're gonna leave the little protection on the running board. Uh, just in case we get a little too rowdy again. And uh, I think it's a good idea because yeah. uh, not only is this side bent, but I'm noticing this side is too. You know, it, I think it adds a little cushion too for hard landings. So it should be good. Yeah, fuck it. There you go. Oh, come on. Jerry told me to use this. <laughs> for this. It's too big. No, just push her down. Oh, yeah. Well, the sled looks absolutely wicked. I gotta get loaded up quick and go meet the guys. But just wanna give a huge shout out to all the guys last night, Jason, Cody, Jesse, Jerry's, and Derek for uh, giving me a hand to get this thing done so we could get out on the snow today. No one knows, we're waiting, we're wasting prime time. Matt's late, 10 o'clock start seems to be the routine. Also want to give a big thanks to Full Speed Rentals. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get this sled done last night. And also thanks to everybody that was part of the, the build. I'll also put the links down in the description for all these products if anyone's interested. I don't even remember how to use this thing. All right, first ride, let's go. <laughs> so weird jumping onto a Polaris after being on Skidoo all year. Wow, there's a lot of vibration in my finger. <laughs> Look at it out here today. It was supposed to be snowing today, but it's Bluebird. Oh man. This reminds me of the single track portages to Ontario here. Just low snow, rough, windy. This thing 
is weird. Absolutely no ski lift. It's a lot easier to side hill on hard pack with this. Yeah. Like I was just dipping off the trail a bit. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to brace like I would be with the skidoo, or is th this is just like, oh, one hand. It says Cody's 120 feet away from me. I'm glad to have this back. <laughs> I know. It's so handy. <laughs> trees. Should get myself a little bit warmed up on this thing first. It is feeling pretty natural though. For not having been on a Polaris for since last year. Oh that is beautiful. Big log. So I pretty much bought this sled here to be my tree machine. Where the front end stays down, we don't get too rowdy and we can just hold a nice line. Lightweight. <laughs> I think it's missing something. Turbo. Yeah, turbo. <laughs> the turbo would have climbed that. Okay, here goes Cody on his 165 boost on the same hill. I <sighs> know, no higher.
I'm not doing it. <laughs> oh no, I think we're losing our blue skies. All right, guess we'll do a little baby drop. Should I hit it bigger? We'll find another one. It looked like you were pitching nose heavy at first. Oh, I was, then I brought it back up. I don't want to land in a tail slapper. No. <laughs> well, I watched you hit it twice. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go up and boot to the left. And then I got up there and like, oh, okay, maybe I'll look at it. And then psyched myself out. Because I'm like, yeah, I could send it way, you know, yeah. pretty much just send it off there and it's going to be fine, but. I see Jason has his backpack off. He must be looking at something. Jason's looking at the big boy drop after all here. <laughs> Sick. It's kind of planted in a different way of the skidoo when the limiter strap is short on it. Because the skis are still light on this, even though there's no ski left. When the limiter strap is short on the skidoo, there's a lot of ski pressure. snowball fell on my head and knocked my visor down uh, when I hit that tree <laughs> it says I'm already down to 30% fuel I don't know about that we'll play through these trees I'll follow you the only thing I don't like on this is the downhill. On the scooter I can brace myself a lot more with my knees. How low can we go? <laughs> I don't know what we're getting ourselves into here. Wow, this just keeps freaking going. Huh. 
Yeah, clutch everywhere, oh my god. Where's Justin when we need him? It says I have 15% gas left. I have 30. <laughs> May the best man win. <laughs> And it said low oil when I was coming up to. Oh. Jason's over there. That's oh, sick. Took my tunnel bag off to play around for a bit. Oh, 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 oh,
say I noticed extra weight of the tunnel bags. It, it doesn't, uh, the back end doesn't trench as much when that weight's not back there and I can climb steeper. <laughs> yeah, like, look at that. <laughs> Yep, pretty wicked without that extra weight. Okay, yeah, that's that's impressive. Like without the tunnel bag, huge difference. Climb straight up. Well, to make it fair, yeah. I guess we'll le we'll leave it on precision. Line choice was a little sloppier, but that was the exact same line I pulled the 9R and I pulled up here and that way, whereas I couldn't pull any higher right there. Maybe it could have had more speed and a better line, but. Line choice was a little sloppier, but this can 100% pull up a steeper line. Just because of that extra power, but I feel like I had a lot more control with the players coming up through there. I also feel like the track on the Skidoo might work a bit better than the players. Even, uh, even though this sled doesn't have T-Motion, I still feel it washing out a lot more than the Polaris. That's pretty cool. Um, I've never had a sled that handles really like that. Uh, with the, you know, no ski lift, not as much fun factor, but when you want to do some <laughs> gnarly tree riding, I could see this being an absolute weapon. I don't know how big the tank and the Polaris is, but we put 40.5 liters in. I'd say that's a pretty good day. 88 kilometers, 3.9 engine hours. I'd say that's a pretty successful day one. Had a lot of fun. Oh, look at those headlights, it looks mean.